Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how uh, how to turn on the my domain. My domain is required uh, in order to uh, create or run any kind of lightning component that you might have. Now, this particular this video is particularly about the app app exchange product which we uh, Cloud One Solutions have come out with. That is a clone opportunity with products and in order to use that app exchange product you need to have my domain activated so let me show you how that's going to be done so i'm uh, for example i'm in this this org and you just need to go to setup and you're going to arrive on screen like this and you need to type domain here you need to go to my domain So here we are on the my domain screen. Now here you need to specify a particular domain for your org. So for example, your Acme Corporation, what you're gonna do is you, you can put something like Acme Corp and check if that is available or not. Now if it says available, then that means this particular domain is unique and uh, you can use it. Now this domain, HTTPS, Acme Corp, and then dev.my.salesforce.com is gonna be unique to your organization. No other organization in the world is going to have the same domain. Now you see that dev dot hyphen ed here because this is a dev org that I'm uh, creating this video on. Uh, if you're in an enterprise org uh, or your production org, you're not going to see the dev part. So for example, uh, so the acme.com is something that I've selected and then you're going to click on register domain. There you go. If I click there, register domain is taken and cannot be used. Try another value. All right, so it's it's taken. So let's try another value. Cloud one then a hyphen dev three. Let's check if it's available or not. It seems it's available. Let's register it. There you go. I think it's so. There you go. Registering your domain, you'll receive an email when it's ready. So. Uh, the, the user, the system admin user you logged in with, that user's email ID will receive an email saying that your registration of the domain has been completed. This can take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour, maybe two hours sometimes. So you have to wait for that. Now, once that email uh, comes to you, right? Uh, now, let me sh switch to another tab. Uh, you are going to come back to my domain and you're going to see something like this. All right, so let me show you my domain. Click on here just to refresh the screen. And then you're going to uh, see something like this. So it's the same page, but now you see my domain is registered. So this is one of the domains that I registered in this org just now. Now this domain has been registered, but uh, it's not yet active. Right, so in order to make it active, as you can see, so domain is still na85.lightning.force.com. In order to make it active, you have to click on login. So if as soon as I click on login, a new tab is going to open up and it's going to, there you go. It's going to open up the same org with the new login, with the new domain. It's the same org, everything is the same, but the domain has been changed. There you go. Awesome. Now, once you have logged in, you have to deploy it to the user. So you have to roll it out. It's not like you want to, once you've logged in, it's there. No, you, now you'll need to click on this. When you deploy the new domain, we activate it immediately. Only Salesforce customer support can disable or change your domain once it's deployed. So guys, you cannot change this domain. So be careful about it. Click on OK. And there you go. So my domain has been activated. All right, that's it. That's all you need in order to uh, get our component, get our app, uh, clone opportunity with products working. Once you have my domain working, then you can use that app. Thank you guys. Thank you much.